Hello. Today we will create a simple Twitter bot. For this project I will Twitter account for 5 minutes of code project. Also you need to register as developer at developer.twitter.com. It takes only a couple of minutes. First of all we need to add an application for our bot. Let's say it is for development stage. Give our application a name. I chose 5 minutes of code bot. Click next and wait a couple of seconds. Our application is ready. Let's go to application settings and configure authentication. For this case we will use OAuth 1.0. Important thing is that we need allow our application to use both read and write API of Twitter. Also we need to fill in some mandatory information. That is all we need to do on Twitter side. We'll get back to keys and tokens section a bit later. Now we can switch to coding. First of all I will initialize my Golang project. Next we will install a couple of modules that will make our life easier. I will leave link to them in description. One of them is Twitter Golang client. It is a wrapper over Twitter API. Let's install it. Second module that we need will help us with authentication. Also installing it. Now we are ready to do some coding. Import the modules we just installed. Now the main function. For the start we define variables for Twitter account credentials. We will fill them in later. Creating objects for OAuth authentication process. We need a config and a token. Next we create a Twitter API client that is based on OAuth token. Now we have all the bits to verify our account and make sure that we are connecting to the correct account. There is a verify credentials operations that can help us. We will print to console our Twitter username. We are left with specifying the credentials. They can be taken from Twitter developer portal. Just regenerate consumer keys and copy them to our code. Do the same for access token and secret. For sure in real life use case it should be done in more secure way. Never store credentials in your code in plain text. While you are watching this video the credentials are already revoked so don't try to use them. Now we can run our application for the first time and make sure that in the console we will see our Twitter account name. It shows that the credentials are correct. Now let's tweet something. In Twitter terms it is a status update. There is a corresponding API available. Let's tease that new project is coming up. Also don't forget about error handling. Run our application again and we can see that it worked fine. We can switch to the browser and refresh the Twitter page and see that our tweet appeared. This concludes our simple demo for Twitter bot. This is a minimalistic example that can be extended in future with other nice feature. Thank you for watching.